Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, have you ever felt like you were being attacked, uh, like people were out to get you, you know, really wanted to, to hurt you or destroy you, your reputation, your family? Uh, King David felt that way, and uh, he wrote about it in Psalm 140. He said, Deliver me, O Lord, from evil men. Preserve me from violent men whose plan evil things in their heart and stir up wars continually. They make their tongue sharp as a serpent's and under their lips is the venom of asps. Guard me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from violent men who have planned to trip up my feet. The arrogant have hidden a trap for me and with cords they have spread a net beside the way they have set snares for me. He obviously felt like people were out to get him and he's asking God to rescue him, to deliver him, and to protect him. So uh, now the reality is David was a, a political figure. Uh, now he may not have meant to be. This may have been when uh, King Saul was hunting him. Uh, it may have been when uh, other people were plotting to get him. It might have been when his son was uh, revolting against him. So there were people all around him throughout his whole life that were trying to sabotage him and kill him. So he has, a, uh, he has enemies, and some of those are close people to him. He is betrayed at multiple points along this way. Now, what does that mean for us? Our reality is that we deal with people all the time. You have people in your family, you have people in your friend group, you have people you work with, you have people who surround you. And every person we interact with falls into one of three categories, according to uh, psychologist Henry Cloud. Uh, he's written some great books about boundaries and necessary endings. In his Necessary Endings book, he talks about this. There's, there's basically three categories that all people fit into. There are wise people who build their life on scripture, who uh, uh, make good decisions, who encourage people, uh, you know, who do life successfully God's way. He says there are foolish people, people who uh, bring harm into their own lives by repeated, ma repeatedly making the same mistakes or uh, just doing stupid things. I don't know about you, but I've got stupid friends. Uh, you know, I, sometimes it's entertaining to hang out with them, but uh, they're also a little bit dangerous. And then uh, Cloud says there are evil people. There really are evil people. And, and we need to, uh, to understand that because we're sinners, all of us have evil in us, but there are some people who are dedicated to evil and they take delight in hurting others, in destroying others, and, uh, and we need to be aware of that, need to be honest with ourselves that um, when the actions of other people look uh, detrimental, detrimental to us, we might need to consider the fact that they may be evil. Now, it doesn't mean that we want to brand people, label people, accuse people. It does mean that we want to be wise in the way that we act towards people. You know, the Apostle Paul said, don't be deceived, bad company corrupts good morals. In Proverbs 13, it says, the one who walks with the wise becomes wise. So let me encourage you to look at yourself and go, where do I fit in that categories? And, and also to look at your friend groups. And, uh, and then maybe you need to make some changes based on the word of God and try to surround yourself with wise people because, you know, the one who walks with the wise becomes wise, but the companion of fools suffers harm, and if you're hanging out with evil people, bad stuff's really going to happen to you and to your life. Um, so uh, we always encourage people to connect here at Calvary. Uh, that's what life groups do. They allow you to surround yourself with mostly wise people. You can't speak for everyone in a life group, but surround yourself with wise people who love Jesus, who are trying to apply God's word to their lives, and they'll help you do the same uh, serve with people. So get involved in a ministry team where you're around people who, again, love Jesus and want to serve people in his name and see what God does in your life to protect you and to bless you. I hope that helps. And I'm praying that God blesses you today.